lads and lovelies. Captain Edward von Arkham here, coming to you from on board the MHS Hysteria. Remember when I said it would be a very bad thing if the Yith's stolen machine fell into the wrong hands? Well, it just so happens to have fallen into the worst hands. The machine was stolen from Pietro Rasponi in 1509, but it wasn't used again until 1527 in Florence, Italy, as we discovered from our mechanical investigations. And that place and that time together rang a bell. Not yet! Uh, <clears throat> uh, it made me think of something that prompted further investigation. Pietro Rasponi's body was inhabited by a member of the great race from 1506 to 1509. And within this time, his yith-motivated behavior attracted quite a lot of attention. His travels in pursuit of contemporary knowledge and alien social behavior made him a bit of a national renaissance celebrity. On one occasion, he was even invited to Florence to have dinner with certain members of the Republic. It turns out that after that one occasion, Rasponi's merchant shop received quite a lot of Florentine business. The crew and I did some snooping, and it turns out that those customers were indeed spies in the employ of the Florentine militia, which is a very bad thing, because at the time, the Florentine militia was run by this man, Niccolo Machiavelli. <laughs> Historian, politician, diplomat, philosopher, writer, and evil genius. This man wrote the book on how to rule the world. He is cunning, he is crafty, he is brilliant, and he has one of the Yith's machines. Machiavelli was appointed to the office of the Second Chancery in 1494. He would have had access to all manner of official historical documents, including those detailing the exploits of Bartolomeo Corsi, the Florentine monk with whom the Yith exchanged minds in the 12th century. When Machiavelli heard word of Pietro Rasponi's similar exploits, he began to put two and two together. We did quite a lot of digging. He had spies in Venice, in the Venetian militia. They would have been watching Rasponi, his dealings with the cult, and they would have been able to dispatch him and abscond with the machine without arousing the least bit of suspicion. Rasponi was murdered in 1509. But the subtemporal disturbance we picked up was not present until 1527, the year that Machiavelli died. Or so says history. Machiavelli would have had 26 years to learn how to operate the machine. Though I would wager he would have had it figured out in less than five. The Medici family seized power again in 1512, and Machiavelli went into exile. He would have been waiting. Plotting. We have got to find out who he switched minds with. Uh, and that's our time for today. I'm off to make a plan. A real plan, not one of my usual plans. A real, actual plan thing. Until next time, stay mad, my duckies. From bad to worse to liver worst.